it's Max here from Vivid Views, and today I want to talk to you about Printify. So if you haven't uh, checked out my channel, check out my channel. I talk about everything when it comes to making passive income online, making money online, starting a business, building a brand, whatever it is. I've tried and tested it. I'm making these videos for you guys. I use Printify. Printify is, is an incredible uh, print-on-demand uh, production partner. So how it works is that you use Printify, you integrate it with either your Etsy store, either your website, whether it's Shopify, Wix, or WordPress, uh, your eBay uh, marketplace store. Um, and basically what happens is when a customer buys a product from those uh, said stores or marketplaces, it instantly sends that message to Printify. Printify puts your product or production, whatever it is, and they send out to your customer. They do everything. They do the printing, they have the products, and they ship it out to your customer. It's an incredible platform. Let's check it out. But before I sign in, let's have a look what they've got here, right? So let's check out their catalog, right? So first we're gonna look at the uh, all the products they have. Now, first thing you need to know about Printify is that it's located all the, around the world. And what I mean by that is, is they have production facilities all around the world. So for example, you'll have production facilities in the US that print t-shirts, hoodies, uh, socks, mugs, uh, they do stickers, and if all your customers are based in the US, that's perfect because shipping is very, very cost effective, and you can do free shipping as well. Um, if you've got an international uh, based brand and business, uh, whether it's an apparel business or it's a t-shirt business and you sell to everyone all over the world, they have production partners all over the world that also sell t-shirts. For example, they have them in Spain, in the UK, uh, other parts of Europe, um, in China, etc., etc. So wherever or whatever or whatever production partner you decide to uh, partner with for that said area um, it's really up to you but what Printify does is they basically uh, use the closest one uh, that makes sense for the business for example if you have a customer in Sweden they'll use their production partner that's either located in Sweden or very close to Sweden right so they do all the hard work for you when you and all you have to do is just list these products and sell let's have a look so I do like the best sellers best sellers is a really good place to start um, when you want to start or you've just started uh, thinking about building a business or a brand or creating a store whether that's on etsy or a website um but let's go to new arrivals so beanbag chair cover that's pretty cool that's a new one a, a little uh, tufted floor so these i guess are some of the newer items that you can see they've got the uh, collections down here but let's go to best sellers um, best sellers is a great place to start for t-shirts right so they're unisex the jersey and the heavy uh, t-shirts uh, obviously best sellers for a reason ultra cotton tees very uh, very best uh, obviously a, a very very popular item um, then you got your sweatshirts uh, they should have stickers uh, buttons are very very popular especially on marketplaces like etsy there we go kiss cut stickers uh, I, I have a sticker tutorial guys um, on my platform check it out it's under print on demand section on my channel but stickers are a very very easy way to generate sales to generate uh, traffic to your store, stickers are cheap as well, so um, very, very, very high turnover item, um, very easy to use, very cool to create the designs as well, and it's a um, very easy way to make quick sales, quick fast sales, and get customers on board, right? Um, so getting that, your brand out there, right? So kiss cut, die cut, stickers, um, very popular, sticker sheets as well, but as you can see, uh, Printify really does uh, it all, right? As you can see, they've even got an eco-friendly range, uh, that'll be great for the sustainability uh, mindful people they've got a pets range which is pretty cool i'll show you that so stuff for your pets pet pandana that's pretty cute uh, pet bowl so you can get like any designs printed on that that you decide to do how it works um, i've kind of discussed it but uh, basically if you go down here um, printify is a very user-friendly platform as well as you can see it's um basic colors basically green and white uh, very smart very uh functional uh portal and website everything's done online you can customize everything um, and obviously you can get yourself samples sent if you want to just to test out the the graphic on the item that you're printing it on um, the, the obviously the quality of the fabric but as you can see there you go Printify is integrated with leading e-commerce platforms such as Shopify, Etsy and Wix those three are definitely the most popular I have my Printify is integrated with my Etsy business um, but obviously people use other other platforms as well um, pricing uh, this is a key part for you guys to un understand. So it's free, right? You get five stores and it's free. If you use my link below, I believe you get some bonuses um, from the premium uh, aspects. Uh, if you just use my link below, obviously that supports me as well. So I can keep making these videos for you guys. Otherwise, it's free and you get five stores. So I can add another five stores to... Uh, oh, sorry. Now that I've got, I've, got, I've got two stores. So I can add another three stores to my account. 
Um, but that's pretty good. I reckon like for uh, 10 stores is getting pretty big and then unlimited stores, that's just, you're getting on a very, very large business organizational uh, platform space, right? Um, you, you get the, with the free account, you get everything you need, guys. There's nothing uh, extensive you need. Like I said, the, the premium and the enterprise are for very large businesses. You need to um, figure out what you're doing first and then we can crack into it. Um, right, I'm gonna log in. Um, you can either do it with the email or just type in um, your account. I'm gonna, for the sake of this purpose of this, I'll just quickly log in on my uh, email. Boom, I'm in. This is my one of my accounts, it's my Etsy account. Um, like I said, I've got two stores. Um, basically how it works is I can go to my store and I can see all my designs that I've done lately. Um, you can edit listings or you can see them in store. Um, I can go to orders, all my customer orders will be here, some of them are here, obviously the most recent ones, um, they've got a few new updates here which is pretty cool, I'll look at that later, um, but I'll show you how it works, so here we go, I've got a new t-shirt design and I want to go put a graphic on a t-shirt, right, so I'm going to go, okay, it's a unisex, I want to use the jersey short sleeve tee, and they've got the prices here, but I'll show you how it works when you get actually into the design, so I'm going to choose this t-shirt, I'm like, I want this t-shirt and I want it on my Etsy store, right, Here's all the print production providers, right? So I've got one in Canada, which is cool. So I can use them, Print Geek. I can use Duplium, another one in Canada. Um, I use Swift POD uh, for the States. I like Swift POD. Um, I've had a really good experience with Swift POD. Uh, from, for example, from a customer service perspective and their production time, look how quick that is compared to others. 2.9 days, 1.45 days, 2.9 days. They are 1.07 business days, right? So my customers are getting a great service. Um, they do all the sizes, they do a lot of colors. Um, they can do both sides and their shipping's pretty cheap as well. $4, uh, Canada's quite expensive, but I'm happy with $4. I, I, I do free shipping anyway and I but put that into my prices. I'll show you how that works. But anyway, look how many uh, other um, ones they have, right? So if we scroll down, you'll see Germany, you'll see the UK, um, that looks like the focus there, right? So you've got two providers in Europe to serve your European customers. Let's go into Swift POD, I wanna start designing, right? I wanna start designing, I've got a design ready, so I'm gonna add my design from my device. Here we go, I made this design earlier today, it's just a little, kinda of like a sticker size format. It's not, um, it's kind of just a, um, basic design, I'm not actually gonna list it, but I'll show you for the sake of training purposes how it works. So there we go, it's gonna be on a white t-shirt, I can put it on a black t-shirt as well. So black, that's how I look at a black t-shirt. Um, I could have done just the logo or the writing itself, so it's transparent, so it's just the writing on the t-shirt, but I'm just showing you how, how a logo or design would work, right? Um, what it means by medium resolution is that ideally for uh, a t-shirt, as you can say, they, they give you the pixels, right? This is only 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. Um, the ideal pixels for a t-shirt is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and that's simply because that's the pixels required for Merch by Amazon. And when you get to Merch by Amazon, by the way, that tutorial is coming soon, you can basically use those pixels and that size guide for all of your t-shirts, for all of your printing partners, your platforms. It works for all t-shirts, right? Not just Merch by Amazon. It's just a good size, good quality size. Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. Um, let's say I wanna add a couple more colors. You can, you can add as many colors as you like. Uh, my advice is always um, stick to, um, I guess, two to three max, and that's simply for the like the professional element of it. So it just it looks a bit spammy when you add every single color to your store, right? You kind of look at it and you're like, oh really? It was this, like you've, you've just slapped that on every single like t-shirt color you can find, right? It looks a bit spammy, especially when it's live on your listing. So I always stick to three. Um, I actually only stick to two, it depends on the design. I always just do black and white, depending on uh, what the design is, if it's white font, I obviously can't do a white t-shirt, but uh, black is the most popular. Um, white works with this because it's got the pink background. So let's say I'm using two t-shirts. I can put something on the back if I want. For example, I could put that same uh, same logo on the back. It does increase the price of the t-shirts, so you have to think about that because they're printing two sides now. But as you can see, I got a front side and I got a back side. But you know what? I don't want that on the back side. I just want to do a logo on the front, standard t-shirt, mean i'm going to save that as the product so once you've kind of put it in the right place where you want it uh, you've moved it around you've maybe uh, uh, blown it up reduced it here it is it's populated here but it's not done guys it's unpublished right so i need to go to edit listing 
And this is where I update all the information that will populate on my uh, Etsy store, right? Now, as you can see, they give you some mock-ups, which is pretty cool, um, but these aren't necessarily the greatest mock-ups. For example, I no longer use mock-ups with people in them. I like folded mock-ups, plain and simple like this. They might have, you might have some shoes or the t-shirt might be folded on a blank uh, background. It could be maybe it's on a bench. It looks a bit more professional, whether it's hanging on a coat hanger or on a bench or on a flat surface, um, rather than on a person. On a person, it looks a bit spammy, a little bit glitchy, um, a little bit um, like you're forcing um, the idea of the t-shirt to look good on someone. And also, uh, it, can, it can sometimes reflect that you're using, you're actually using a mock-up generator because it's like, do you have all these models working for you, right? Although people like to see t-shirts on a person and they kind of model the sims off it, I prefer to use just a blank template. So what I would do is I'd go get some separate mock-ups. I've got a great mock-up generator platform uh, tutorial coming soon. Um, it's from Place It. Uh, that tutorial is probably going to come in the next week, so keep your eyes peeled on my channel. But that's basically where you can get amazing mockups from, right? Anyway, so let's scroll down. Description. So in your description, obviously, it's Etsy, right? So you can put whatever you want, but ideally, you want to kind of keep it keywordy. Now, remember, this this tutorial is not about Etsy. It's about Printify, right? Um, I have an Etsy tutorial with the sticker. Um, video it's out now check out my channel it's in the print on demand section that's where I go through what titles and tags and description you should use but for the sake of printify I'm just gonna say pink t-shirt and I'm gonna leave the description as is which is the generic uh, description you get but you obviously take that out like I said check out my sticker um, tutorial video and I'll show you how I kind of tweak this and remove some things that you don't need pricing right because I've got one t-shirt item I can do this, I can select all, and I can implement one price for every single size. $29.99, right? You can do $19.99, but it shows you your profit. But the reason why I do $24.99 or $29.99 is because I do free shipping, right, in the US, especially in the US. I do free shipping, meaning that you have to think about shipping. Now, shipping's not included in this cost, shipping is separate. I've done my due diligence, you can get the shipping costs on Printify, and we'll go check that out after this. But as you can see, there's my profit margin. It's quite big, but you have to take about $10 off that price just for shipping and tax, right? So think about taxes, think about shipping, and the reason why I make it one uniform price is because I don't want people buying a 3XL, buying a t-shirt for $30, and then an extra small is like $15 because they're like, well, first of all, you think of about the customer's perspective. Yeah, more fabric is being used, but you're not selling the fabric you're selling your design you're selling your brand right so make it uniform it's the same price for extra small all the way through xl you won't have that customer uh, i guess um retaliation or detrimental or potential negative feedback being on why a larger size is you know more expensive is that because you know people are bigger and that's not a really a great reflection remember you're selling the the brand and your business not the fabric all right scroll down product visibility in store obviously you leave it unchecked um, only show in stock variants. So obviously I've used two colors and it says everything's in stock. Sometimes you'll add some uh, custom colors and they won't have them in stock. For example, I found pink is always low, uh, like pink, pink t-shirts and other colors like green and like ocean blue. But here you can create a new shipping profile, but I've got existing profiles. But with creating a new shipping profile, you actually do this on Etsy, right? And they populate through here, right? I've got five profiles that I use for this um, business account for the store. Um, but you actually create these shipping profiles on Etsy, not on Printify. Um, and I'll, sell, I'll show that how to use, um, how to create those on an Etsy tutorial coming up. That Etsy tutorial is not about so much listing uh, products. It's more about how setting up your store and your store rules, right? Making your store look professional, making it look like uh, it's actually been there and you mean business and you're there to be a brand and help people, right? All right. That's it, I publish it. I'm not publishing this because um, this is, I don't actually want this uh, t-shirt uh, in my store, uh, but what I can do is I can just go back, back to my store, and I can just click that, and I can go, yep, and then I wanna, oh, actually, how do I delete this sucker? Oh, should be here? Yes, there it is, delete. Cool, haven't done that in a while. All right, awesome, that's done, that's been deleted, but you get the gist. Once you publish that, that gets automatically published to your Etsy store, right? Uh, maybe on my uh, next uh, tutorial, my t-shirt tutorial, I'll do that end-to-end, -end, right? So an Etsy t-shirt tutorial with Printify, I'll show you guys how it looks end-to-end, -end, 
um, and how it loads up on Etsy and the final touches you have to make to it on Etsy, right? Including sprucing it up and adding a few more strategic changes. This is purely Printify. Now let's go back to um, uh, like shipping costs with Printify, right? So here you want to go out, you want to go back to the home page, you want to scroll down to the bottom, and oh, essentially I think I probably yeah, it's a bit annoying um, with Etsy. I think you actually have to like log out, go to the home page, tofi.com, um, and that's when it actually gives you like without logging in, that's when it gives you the uh, cost. For example, you go start and selling. Da, 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 make your own customer should be down here. Transfer fulfillment status, printify, print providers, become a partner. Should be down here somewhere. Ch -ch 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 integration. So here are your integrations. This is cool. All the integrations that they do. Um, pricing. If this is just this, then that's uh, not what I want. Start selling. Customer order t-shirts, bulk orders, transferring to print fulfillment status. Uh, sell on Etsy, free t-shirts, customer make your own shirt. Uh, sorry guys, I'm literally have not done this in a while. Print providers, it might be this actually. Ah, oh, yes, okay, here we go. Print providers, right? And this is where you would, it's a bit niggly, but for example, um, this is how I found mine. I was using Swift POD, so I went to United States because I know they're based in uh, US, and I'd go to uh, Swift POD, where are we? Oh, we're on page two. Scroll down, and here they are, and I'd click on them, and this is where it's going to give me um, their range right so let's go into their uh, men's oh, unisex heavy cotton t-shirt about key features gives you everything size guides sorry guys that's not actually what I want that's not what I want that just gives me all the information of them. Oh my goodness, okay, here we go, shipping rates. All right guys, we got there in the end, yeah? Um, all right, shipping rates, list of print, uh, five print for providers, here we go. See rates, that makes sense. All right, so once again, Scroll to the bottom, it's in the discover section, shipping rates. Sorry guys, that's uh, how, how long I haven't uh, actually checked shipping rates in a while because I set this up very, very early on last year when I first set up my first two stores. Right, so Swift POD, this makes it easy for you guys, right? So for shirts, long sleeves and kids clothing, it gives you everything, right? And these are the only three you need, right? I don't even include Canada, I just do US and rest of the world. Now, when I make my profiles up, I say US is free shipping, so I include $4 into the shipping, right? Uh, so not into the shipping, I include $4 into the price so that the shipping's already covered. That's a pro tip, right? You always include shipping into the, your uh, margin, right? Rest of the world, I charge shipping because rest of the world's a little bit different. You don't want your t-shirts to be another $10 on top of that because then people are going to start to think, oh, hang on a second. Um, why are my t-shirts now $39.99, not $29.99? With $4, you'll just be making less margin. So for example, if I do my t-shirts at $29.99, which is a pretty standard t-shirt size for a good quality t-shirt, $29.99, it might cost me $15 with shipping and tax, I'm still making $15. And even if it costs me $20 with shipping and tax included from my production partner, I'm still making $9.99, right? with my profit margin. So that's why US, I always do free shipping. Rest of the world, you, I add that as a shipping option. So wherever they're shipping to, um, it could be South Korea, it could be Vietnam, it could be Australia, it could be Canada. I kind of only add uh, those, two, those two aspects, right? Sweatshirts and hoodies, they show you the shipping as well. Slightly bigger items, slightly more in shipping. You just uh, work that into your cost. Um, that's Swift POD, right? Um, another popular one, so that's easy. Another one I use is Spoke Customs, uh, which is great for stickers. All right, so here we go, stickers once again. So you got, they do phone cases, they do wireless chargers, but let's go down to, they do mugs, they do, let's go down to stickers. Stickers, the laptop sleeves, yeah, paper products, beach towels, supplemental shocks, stickers, here we go. So this is what I use for my stickers. Um, US, once again, $3.50. Um, and see how it's so cheap for an additional item because stickers are so small you can literally fit like 10 in the same little package, right? So that's why it's only seven cents 
So free shipping for stickers. I just add three dollars fifty into the sticker price. Um, I make very, very, very minimal uh, profit or margin on stickers, maybe like fifty cents, if that, because I sell stickers for other reasons, and that is to get sales, boost my uh, ranking in Etsy, uh, get my brand out there, get my store out there. Um, and you can list them, they're easier to create, and everyone loves stickers. And then international, obviously I add the international option because it's $8, um, and that's for people to choose whether they want them uh, shipped all over the world. Right, sorry guys, took a while to get that to get to that uh, shipping rate section, but um, the, I guess another cool thing they have is the mock-up generator. Um, you can kind of go into this, and this they have their own mock-up generator. Um, you have to obviously um, sign in for this, but... I don't know, for me, uh, whoops, wrong account. For me personally, I use another platform because that platform serves not just for uh, mock-ups but also for videos, uh, templates, logos, um, channel art, things like that. Um, but as you can see, uh, you sign in, you can, do, you can use the mock-up generator as part of this. I think they're very, very basic um, uh, mock-ups, but it's it's up to you. Some people like to use it as a one stop stop shop. Some people don't. Um, I'm not going to go through it. It's more of a um, it's a nice to have, a, a nice to use feature if you only want to use Printify's mock up generators. But you'll soon realize that once you start learning how, uh, I guess, what mock ups you want to use, maybe you want to give your store a very unique look, a very niche look. Um, you'll you'll use other platforms. That place it tutorials coming soon. Anyway, guys, that's Printify in a nutshell. Um, like I said, it's an integration production partner for print on demand. Very easy, easy to use, uh, very cost effective. I love it. Um, customer service is great, 24 7 and message. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's not to like about them. I can't really give you any cons um, for a print on demand production partner, integration partner. Yeah, amazing for Etsy, right? I use Printify, I use Printful. I've got a Printful um, link below. Printful tutorials coming soon. But um, yeah, guys, so if you like the video, please like it, subscribe, there's more coming. I, I started my entrepreneurial journey in 2021, and I'm on a journey from zero to a million dollars by generating passive income streams, making money online, building businesses, building brands, and I'm sharing my experiences with you guys because I love this as a creative outlet. I love helping people. Uh, I'm a coach by trade. Um, and I'm just wanting to escape that nine to five grind, find financial freedom, and we can do that together, guys. So once again, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one, over and out.